Hey, Gemini. It's Faith from Fire Center. Hope everybody's well. Yeah. I haven't posted all month. I realize that. I apologize. I'm not going to get too far into as to why. There is a video posted as to why. So, we're just going to throw down and get into your reading. Gemini, this is timeless. It may have already played out. It could be playing out right now. It may play out somewhere in the future. If you don't feel like it's your story, that's okay. Just walk away from the table and just leave it alone. But if it sets off any alarms or light bulb moments later, you were meant to see it. So, universe, what does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus need to know? All right. Okay. More. The devil. Hmm. Could be a Capricorn involved. Could be a toxic connection. Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. Remain calm and patient. See how things play out. I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like somebody kind of had a little bit of an attitude problem in the past, Gemini. Why the Queen of Swords reversed? Death reversed. Somebody didn't want to change. Somebody didn't want to evolve. One more. Eight of Cups reversed. indicates a, a return. I feel like somebody went back to their old ways and somebody wasn't too thrilled about it. I feel like it had something to do with an addiction. Or a toxic habit. Why the Six of Wands reversed? <clears throat> oh, hit the floor. Really? Six of Wands reversed. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, guys. Not seeing. Not being seen. Ignoring. Lack of victory. Emperor. Eight 
Eight of Swords reversed. Not thinking about it. Concentrating on getting your shit together. Not thinking about the other person. Cutting losses. Moving forward. Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? Oh, the Two of Wands. Could be an Aries involved. Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Mm. All your queens are upside down. I feel like someone's struggling with moving on. And having a new start. The emotion's there, but it's not reciprocated. Communication childlike and lacking. Something new is budding. Something new is budding. Why is the Eight of Wands here? a whole lot of forward movement and communication, very whirlwind, very quick. High Priestess. Mm, no. acceptance of the situation. The feeling of a very deep connection with the acceptance of the situation. Someone isn't going to invest as much as the other person.
This connection was toxic. There was secrets. There is still feelings, but ultimately this connection was toxic. All right, talk to me about this Five of Swords, because that is the end-all, be-all of all arguments. I f Woo! Hi! And the Hierophant is reversed. And so if this was a committed relationship... Mm -hmm. Six swords. Can't really see it on the end here. Wow. Doubles the last card down. We got two aces on this table right now. There's potential. for fantastic new starts. But you gotta cut something else loose. It's trying to keep you bound. Gemini, it may be time to take back your cup. Something is trying to keep you chained. Get some wisdom. <clears throat> A higher power. All right. I put everything away so I can't find anything. A higher power, number four. <sighs> Essential meanings. Conscious contact with a higher power. The presence of the divine. Seeing source energy in all things. Committing to a partnership with spirit. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You're always protected and divinely directed. Okay, relationship message. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The presence of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Okay. Gemini? Powerful connection indeed. Okay. <sighs> Gemini, I send you off with peace, love, and light. Know that you are loved and be blessed. And I will catch you next time, whenever next time may be. All right. Take care.